series AC circuit, RL circuit, or resistor inductor circuit. We have here a circuit with, an, with a sinusoidal AC source voltage, a resistor, and an inductor. Every circuit element has its own impedance offered. And these circuit elements are inductor, capacitor, and a resistor. Impedance offered by an inductor is J omega L. For a capacitor, negative J1 over omega C or 1 over J omega C. And for a resistor, simply R. Since this RL circuit is a series circuit, we can just add all the impedances to get its total impedance. So impedance is equals to impedance offered by our resistor R plus the impedance offered by our inductor J omega L. Good morning everyone. Let's have a review about impedance equivalence of R and L circuit resistance inductance. We all know that the formula for this circuit is to get the impedance is Z equals R plus J omega L where Z is our impedance R for resistance J imaginary omega sign here is our angular frequency having the formula of 2 pi f and our L here is our inductance usually if the impedance is given it is a complex number there is also another formula to get the impedance Z is equals to square root of R squared plus X sub L squared. But this formula was explained by our previous reporter. Okay, here we have an example. Example number one. A coil has a resistance of 25 ohms and is connected in an AC source of 230 volts 50 hertz. What is the impedance of the coil if the coil has an inductance of 13.5 Henry? We all know that the given formula is for the, uh, for the impedance is Z is equals to R plus J omega L. Res we have the given resistance 25 ohms plus copy the imaginary then the formula for the omega to by F and the frequency here is 50 Hertz then the inductance 13.5 Henry so our impedance here is 25 plus J 4 to 4.15 Okay, here, so we have another example. Example number two. Find the total impedance in rectangular form for the following three series impedances. Z1 equals 12 angle 10 degrees. Z2 equals 25 angle 15 degrees. And Z3 equals 34 angle 26 degrees. Since the given impedances here are in polar form, we need to convert them first into rectangular form so we can just simply add them all. So first, we need to get these two letters. We have the letter A. So next is letter B.
Now that we have this two, we can put it from the formula. Uh, Next. Okay, so there. Now that we have converted the three impedances from polar form to rectangular form, we can now simply add them all. The unit is ohms. Okay here, so we have a circuit with an AC source, E sub T, a resistor, an inductor, and a current flowing. Here is the formula for getting the magnitude of the impedance, Z sub T is equals to square root of R squared plus X sub L squared, where Z T is the total impedance, R is the resistor, and X sub L is the inductive reactance, which is uh, omega L or 2 pi FL. The, for getting the voltage drop across the resistor, we have the formula 
e sub r is equals to i sub t r and for the formula of getting the voltage drop across the inductor e sub l is equals to i sub t x, x sub l where i sub t is the total current and x sub l is the inductive reactance 2 pi f l for getting the total current we have i sub t is equals to e sub t over z sub t where E sub t is the total voltage over Z sub t, the total impedance. And for getting the total voltage, we have here the square root of E sub r squared plus E sub l squared, where E sub r is the, is the voltage drop across the resistance, I read the resistor, and E sub l is the voltage drop across the inductor. Where Z sub t is the total impedance, I sub t is the total current, E sub T is the total supply voltage, E sub R is the voltage drop for resistor, E sub L for the voltage drop of inductor, R is the resistance, X sub L is the inductive reactance, which is equal to omega L or 2 pi F L. Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in the last video we had seen that what is phasor and the phasor diagram and we had seen that how to represent the voltage and current on the phasor diagram for the basic circuit elements like resistor, capacitor and the inductor. So in this video we will see how to draw the phasor diagram for the series RC, RL as well as the RLC circuit. So before we see that let us quickly see what we had seen in the last video. So in the last video we had seen that any sinusoidal signal can be represented by using this phasor. And this phasor is nothing but representing this sinusoidal signal using a complex number. So we can represent this phasor either in a polar form, rectangular form or in a exponential form. And this phasor representation is particularly useful when we have a more than one sinusoidal signals which is having a same frequency but different amplitude and different phase. So in such cases using this phasor and the phasor diagram we can easily represent this sinusoidal signals. So now in the last video we have also seen that for the purely inductive circuit the voltage will lead the current by a 90 degree and we can represent this voltage V as J omega L into I. So now suppose if you see here this voltage is getting multiplied by this term J into omega L. So now whenever any term is getting multiplied by this J operator then the phasor will get rotated 90 degree in the anticlockwise direction. Similarly we had seen that for the purely capacitive circuit, the current will lead the voltage by a 90 degree and we can represent this voltage V as 1 divided by J omega C into I or we can say that minus J into omega C divided by I. So as you can see here, this voltage is getting multiplied by the operator minus J. So whenever any term is getting multiplied by this minus J operator, then the phasor will get rotated you know 90 degree in the clockwise direction. So that is the reason here the voltage lags the current by a 90 degree. So now let us see how to draw the phasor diagram for the series RL circuit and let us also see what is the impedance of this series RL circuit. So here we have applied a AC signal to this series RL circuit. So here we can represent this AC signal using the phasor form that is Vm which is having a phase shift of 0 degree or simply we can represent it by a capital V. Let us assume that the current that is flowing through the circuit is capital I. So using this Kirchhoff's voltage law we can write V is equal to Vr plus Vl where Vr is the voltage across this resistor and Vl is the voltage across this inductor. So we can write this Vr as I into R and Vl as I into J omega L. Now let us represent this Vr and Vl on the phasor diagram. So now whenever we are representing voltages on the series circuit then we will always consider the current phasor as a reference because current is common in all the circuit components. So here let us assume that the current that is flowing in the circuit is I. Now for the resistor voltage and current will be in a phase. So let us say this is the phasor for the Vr and Vr will be in phase with this current I. Now we know that for the inductor the voltage will lead the current by a 90 degree. So phasor for the Vl will be 
90 degree ahead of this current. So we can also represent this VL over here and the resultant voltage will be somewhere around here. So we can say that V is equal to VR plus VL or the magnitude of this voltage V will be under root VR square plus VL square and the phase 5 will be 10 inverse VL divided by VR. So here for the series RL circuit the voltage will lead the current by a angle of 5. So suppose you have applied the voltage signal of Vm sin omega t into the circuit then the current that is flowing through the circuit can be given by the expression Vm into sin omega t minus 5 and if we represent this voltage and current on the waveform then as you can see the current will lag the voltage by some angle of 5. So now let us find the impedance of this series RL circuit. So earlier we had seen that the voltage V can be given by the expression Vr plus Vl that is Ir plus I into J omega L. So we can say that V is equal to I into R plus J omega L. Now here the ratio of voltage and current is nothing but the impedance that is R plus J into omega L. So this will be the impedance of this series RL circuit. So amplitude of this impedance Z will be under root R square plus omega L whole square and the phase of this impedance will be 10 inverse omega L divided by R. So this is how we can represent the impedance for the series RL circuit. Let us see some examples on this phasor representation and more examples you will find in the description below. So those examples you can solve by yourself and if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you require the solution for those questions then do let me know here in this poll. Alright so now let us see this example. So in this example we have given a series RL circuit which is being excited by this voltage V of T and we have been asked to find the current that is flowing through this circuit. So here we have given that the V of T is 283 into sin 300T plus 90 degree and we have been asked to find the current I that is flowing through this circuit. Now we know that the current I can be given by the expression V over Z where Z is the impedance of this RL circuit. Now here we can represent this voltage in a phasor form as 283 and the angle of 90 degree. Now here in the case of a series RL circuit we had seen that impedance can be represented as R plus J into omega L where here R is 4 ohm and here omega is nothing but 300. So J omega L will be 300 into 0 0.01 Henry which is nothing but 4 plus J3. So here the impedance will be 4 plus J3. So now here we can represent this impedance in a polar form. So we can write it as 283 which is having an angle of 90 degree divided by 5 and angle of 36.86. So we can say that the current I is nothing but 283 having an angle of 90 degree divided by 5 which is having an angle of 36.86. Now here the ratio of 283 by 5 will be 56.5 and the difference of this 90 degree and 36.86 will be 53.1 degree. So this will be the current that is flowing through this series RL circuit. Now let us represent it in terms of the sinusoidal signal. So we can write I of t is 56.5 into sin of 300t plus 53.1 degree. So this will be the current that is flowing through this given series RL circuit. Okay, so we have a sample problem here. A 250 milli Henry inductance is connected in series with a 35 ohm resistor. The voltage is 220 volts. What is the current? Assume that the value of omega is 377. For getting the, the current of a series circuit, we have the formula I sub t is equals to E sub t over Z sub t. Where e, e sub t is the total voltage over Z sub t is the total impedance. 
E sub T, we have 220 volts over, but Z sub T, we don't, have, we don't have impedance for this, so we need to get it first. And for getting the impedance, we have the formula Z is equals to square root of R squared plus X sub L squared, where R squared is the resistance of the resistor and X sub L is the inductive reactance. R squared 35 plus, but still, we don't have an inductive reactance in this problem. We need to get this first also. So our formula for getting this is Oh, we have the value of the omega 377 times our inductance to times 3, right? No? So, 94... Point twenty-five. Now, now that we have the value for this, we can plug this. Ninety-four point twenty-five squared. So our impedance is one hundred point fifty-four. Now that we have our impedance, we cannot solve for this. This thing took more. One hundred point fifty four. The mice is a board, eh? For a gapa. So the total current is 2.19 amperes. Okay here, so we have another example. The equation of the EMF of an inductive circuit is E is equal to 500 sine 377T and the current is I is equal to 65 sine 370 minus 60 degrees. What is the inductance? We have the formula for getting the inductance L is equal to inductive reactance X sub L over omega. We don't have the value for our inductive reactance, so we'll get this first. Inductive reactance is equal to Z sine theta. Now if some of you is wondering where did I get this, this is from the impedance triangle theta z r and x sub l. Now to get the x sub l that would be sine theta equals x sub l over z. So x sub l is equals to z sine theta okay so x sub l would be uh, z sine theta but we don't have our impedance here we'll get this impedance first impedance would be total voltage over total current and for our total voltage that is 500 over total current 65 so our so our total impedance would be 7.69 now that we have this value we can plug it now here 7.69 sine our theta would be 60 
that can't be negative 60 because we don't have negative impedance. So 60 degrees. Inductive reactance would be uh, 6.66. Now that we have this, we can now solve for our inductance. X sub L, 6.66 over our value of omega, 377. So, 6.66 divided by 377 equals uh, 0 0.018 and the unit is Henry. <laughs>